Mother's Day will be here before we know it, so now's the time to be thinking of what gifts to give mom, and if your mom likes to read, we've got you covered. Pat Gowitzel from Magic City Books is here with some suggestions. Good morning, and hope you had a great Easter. Yes, we did. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, so when I talked about what we are going to talk about today, you said we've got the Mother's Day... Book bouquet. Okay, that's right. so that's what right. does that mean? So for, for people that are out there that are looking for something to get for mom, something that isn't going to, you know, wilt something that isn't going to go bad in the fridge or something like that. Uh, you know, books make a great gift. And so we package together, wrap them up for you. We'll ship them out wherever they need to go, or you can come to the store and pick them up. But uh, pick out three books for mom for Mother's Day. Uh, get it all taken care of at one time and, and just So there are done. nine selections to choose That's from. That's right. Okay, That's and this right. is one and that this you is are... one of them, okay. The Wise Women, uh, about Leanne and her colleagues here at Channel 6. <laughs> uh, and so we are really excited about, uh, about these novels and and some nonfiction. Viola Davis has a brand new memoir that's coming out later this month. That's on the list. Uh, there's some other novels that have, you know, been uh, CBS This Morning book club picks and, the, and oh, things great. like that. So. so pick those out. Yep. They'll have them all wrapped up and you can give mom a book bouquet. That's right. You can do it at the store or magiccitybooks.com. Um, online. Okay. So that was the first one we talked about, The Wise Women. Okay. Let's go to this next one. Next, we've got our uh, kind of nonfiction selection for the month. This is Quincy Jones's memoir, 12 Notes on Life and creativity. Quincy Jones, uh, oh, just, you know, legend. what what better person to kind of get this information from about creativity than Quincy Jones. So uh, we're really excited about that one. Slim, you know, you can get through this one pretty fast. Mm -hmm. The next one is, our, is, is new in paperback, Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis is the kind of writer that I will read anything that he writes. Uh, okay. He just he just kind of takes really interesting things that you hadn't really thought about before and and builds a story around it. Um, this this book is is sort of about the people who the canaries in the coal mine that could mm -hmm. see COVID coming, but nobody could listen to them. So uh, it's just it, it's it's really interesting. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, next one is a cookbook. The next one is a cookbook. I like now, that. Now there are a lot of cookbooks and a lot of cook and recipe writers who claim to be able to give you fast recipes, 30 minutes and have dinner on the table. And a lot of the time, there you are still at seven o'clock and dinner's not on the table. Allie Slagle, this is her brand new debut cookbook. I fo have followed her for a few years. Mm -hmm. Everything she has, it can be fast. It can You can make it with the stuff that's already in your pantry, in your refrigerator. I love Ali Slager's cookbook. Uh, I can't wait to start making the recipes out of I dream of dinner so you don't have that's to. That's right. I love that. That's right. I always ask if you can include a kid's book, and yes. this one could be near and dear to my heart. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So Dave Pilkey, who many of the uh, viewers are going to remember from Captain Underpants. Yes. Maybe maybe your kids were around for the Dogman years. Well, this is kind of a spinoff from Dogman, Cat Kid Comic Club. This is the third book in that series. Um, Dave has been a great friend of Magic City Books and the, and, and the programs that we're doing. We had him here a number of years ago for some Dogman stuff, um, and we're just really excited about this one. Brand That's new last gonna week. That's going to be fun. All right, in our final book, I absolutely, in fact, it may disappear if, if I'm not careful. I am a big fan of Molly Shannon, and yeah. knowing that she has a book coming out, tell us about That's this. That's right. So Molly Shannon's uh, brand new book, a lot of viewers have probably seen she's been doing a lot of media. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they've heard her on a podcast or, or seen <laughs> her on, on late night shows, but but Molly has written a new book. We happen to have signed copies at yeah. the store, and that's really one of the big reasons why I wanted to, to bring that out. Many people may know that the book is there, but uh, we happen to have some signed copies at the store. You can come down and see us and get get one of these or give us a call, and we'll be able to get this okay, to my, you. Unfortunately, my kids are not watching, so I'm just like... <laughs> Somebody let Rachel and Nick know this is what mommy wants for Mother's Day this that's right. year. Yeah, that's for right. sure. Um, you got some events coming up too? We do, we do. So we're, our event schedule, our in-person event schedule is really starting to pick up. We've got a lot coming in April, May, and June. It's getting booked up. Um, one, two, three events almost every week. Uh, a lot of poetry events still this month with it being National Poetry Month. Next month uh, we've got... Um, events that are on the schedule and more being added all the time. Uh, a lot of them are at the store at 221 East Archer Street, but we do events all over town at, at venue partners, um, some nonfiction books that are kind of topical. Uh, writers coming in and talking about Ukraine, about American politics, about health, uh, about history, lots of great stuff. We'll have an opportunity to kind of go in depth on some of those as we get a little bit closer That's to those right. dates. But definitely for Mother's Day, which is about less than three weeks away, take take advantage of this. It's a great idea, especially for those moms who love to read. Let me give you the first quick information. Uh, they are located here in downtown, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 9, Sundays, 10 to 5. We'll put all those details on our website. Great to see you, Pat. Have a great day. Thanks, Leanne.